What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Vectrex. Now I've always wanted to get my hands on one of these systems. They're quite expensive, so I usually just emulate it. If you're not familiar with the Vectrex, this was an awesome little setup. As you can see, we have a screen here, came with your controller or joypad, joystick. They also offered a 3D imager, kind of like a VR headset for the unit and a pen tool so you could draw on the screen. In my opinion, it was way ahead of its time when it first released. And there was actually a game released in 2006. You can still buy the cartridge here. This was a fan-made game, but as you can see, it's very official. It has the cartridge, box art, 22 bucks. You can still buy it today if you have a Vectrex system. Now this is a very basic system and it might not be for everybody, but I think it's a great addition for your LaunchBox collection. So really the first thing we're going to need to do is have the ROMs. GCE Vectrex, I've created a folder on my desktop. Inside of here, I just left all of my games zipped. They are .zip files. Got a lot of stuff in here. Some really cool games, some games you'll probably never play. Like I mentioned, we're going to be using RetroArch for this. So the first thing we need to do is download the correct core. I'm going to open up my LaunchBox directory. I'm going to head to emulators. I'm going to open up RetroArch and launch it. Now, if you haven't set up RetroArch to use with LaunchBox, I have a tutorial video. Link for that is in the description. Go ahead and follow that. When you're done, come back and we can get Vectrex set up. From here, we're just going to scroll down to online updater, core updater, and we're going to find GCE Vectrex. The core is VECX. Click enter, it's gonna download, extract. We can now exit RetroArch. Next thing I wanna do is place my games in my LaunchBox directory. I have a folder in my LaunchBox directory called games. I'm just gonna drop GCE Vectrex right in here. Now we have our games in our LaunchBox directory. This is how I do it. You can always have LaunchBox import them automatically, but I have mine set up just like this. And finally, we need to start up LaunchBox. Now, in my upcoming tutorial videos, I'm only going to be using LaunchBox next because we will be phasing out the old LaunchBox interface in the next few updates. If you haven't tried it out yet, go ahead and start it up, mess around with it. It's really simple to use, and I think it's a lot faster than the older LaunchBox interface. If you're using the old interface now, you can switch to LaunchBox Next. There is an option in the top left-hand corner, or you can head over to your LaunchBox directory and there'll be a launchbox.next exe. I've already created a shortcut, placed it on my desktop. All right, so it's really simple to do this. We've already downloaded the core in RetroArch. We need to set that core up real quick. We're gonna go to Tools, Manage Emulators, open up RetroArch. From here, associated platforms. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and create a new associated platform. GCE Vectrex. Now we need to add the core. Just double click. Scroll down. VECX Libretro. And we want to make sure this is checked. We're going to be using that VECX Libretro core for all of our Vectrex games. Click OK and close. All that's left to do is import our games and start playing. We're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the Import Wizard. Go ahead and read through everything. Make sure you know why you're clicking the Next button. Select the files to import. I'm going to add a whole folder here because I've already placed it in my LaunchBox directory. Find my games and it should be under GCE Vectrex. Make sure it's highlighted. Click OK. Next. What platform are you importing games for? GCE Vectrex. Click Next. What emulator would you like to use? RetroArch should already be chosen. If it's not, click this drop down and choose it here. Next. Would you like to move or copy your files? Now I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory, so I'm going to use them in their current location. If you haven't placed them there, copy the files into my LaunchBox games folder. 
Would you like to download metadata? Of course we would. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. If there's something in here you don't want to download, just uncheck it. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Vectrex. We'll just click Next. We're now ready to import. We have the name of the game, the file location, and the extension. Mine are all .zip. Finish. You'll get a progress bar at the very bottom here. It's going to download all of your metadata, artwork, and anything else that you've selected to download. Give it a little time to finish up. My 40 games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left hand column we should now have a new option for GCE Vectrex. And here we are. Looks like all of my games were scraped successfully. All that's left to do is to start playing. I think I'll go with Cosmic Chasm. Double click. As for controls, you can pretty much use any controller with RetroArch or your keyboard. I have a PS4 controller connected to my PC right now. It's going to work out of the box with RetroArch. So some of these games you will have to get used to or you can get online and find the manuals themselves. Like for instance here, I got a shoot button. I can also generate a shield and I have to control using my analog stick or my D-pad. I need to clear this space here. As you can see, that expanding ring here kind of reminds me of all these new Battle Royale games coming out. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You now have Vectrex up and running in LaunchBox using RetroArch. Now, I don't see any reason at all to use another emulator to emulate Vectrex. There are other emulators out there that'll work. It's not a very demanding system, and RetroArch handles it just fine in my opinion. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.